What does it mean to leave everything behind? Well, for me, it's leaving my car, my fairly cozy job where I get to promote my music every day, my insanely cheap rent on the west side of Los Angeles, and of course, the hardest part, saying goodbye to my family. In 2021, I came up with an idea for an album inspired by Latin American culture and even visited Mexico a few times. But I just knew I had to travel throughout Latin America extensively to bring out the album's authenticity. It's literally my dream project and I've been working tirelessly for three years to make this happen. I don't know how successful I will be or where this road even goes, but I'm really excited for the first stop. So let's see what happens. I'm here with my mom to get her thoughts and feelings of me leaving to Latin America to pursue my dreams. So mom, do you remember the first time I told you about my idea and there was complete silence? Yes. Can you tell me what was going through your head during that silence? Well, I thought, is he crazy? Did he think this whole thing through? But I knew you're free spirited, so I knew you were going to set your mind to it, but I still was not comfortable with it at all. Okay. <laughs> Comforting. <laughs> and and um, what is your general feelings about it overall now? Well, um, moments before you won't see me for yeah. a while. I love the fact that you will not give up on pursuing your dreams. That's awesome. Um, I, you are, I admire the fact that you will just do it independently. Yeah, I wish I could be free spirited like you, but you know, I'm still your mom and I'm going to be worried about you, but I have you on find my friends. So it's all good. And is it going to be the best album ever? Yes. A hundred percent. See you in the next scene, whatever that scene is. <laughs> here at Union Station and um, this is my first time just talking to the camera like talking to you people judging me I don't know but anyways we're on, on our way to the first stop we got a Greyhound and I'll see you in the first city Welcome to the border of Tijuana. So you might be wondering, are you going to die? But actually, there's a lot of good food, a lot of good people, and I'm excited to show you it. Um, I've been here three times, so this will be my fourth. I really love this city. I think it gets a lot of unfair attention. It is definitely way more than that. So let's go. All right, I'm here in Tijuana with Luis, and he's going to show me around the pier. Well, that's it for today. Um, I didn't mention this, but Luis is graciously hosting me, and um, we're going to do more stuff tomorrow. Thank you so much for hosting me, Nux, and we'll see you tomorrow. Want to do the vlog thing? Yep. Good morning. It's the next day here in Tijuana, and I spent the night in Luis's spare room. Check it out. I slept very well. If you're wondering, I met Luis for the first time yesterday through the app Couchsurfing, which it's pretty self-explanatory what it is. I love it. I've used it before, and it's a big part of how I will be able to sustain long-term travel and seeing my album to completion. There's actually a vetting system. I'll show my profile right there so you can make sure the situation is all good. You won't get murdered. Um, if you're a woman, I would suggest finding other women to host you, and that's pretty much it. I think there's a lot of stigma around, you know, traveling, staying with strangers, especially in Latin America, but it is a viable option. So today I will be editing some videos, 
maybe working on some music. We'll see. I'm too lazy. This is my last day here, so probably not. And then we're going to go get some of the best tacos I've ever had in my life. My gosh, they're so good. So I will probably do some B-roll of me editing and then see you at tacos. <laughs> Behind me is the best tacos ever. Mm. I didn't mention it before, but the name of the place is Tacos El Vaquero. Delicious. One of the best parts of visiting Tijuana is the food. Dessert is no exception. Luis offered, so we're going. We got in a terrible accident on the way here. Just kidding. But that is the end of the vlog. I hope I got you excited about Tijuana. I hope I got you excited about my project. And I hope that took away a little bit of stigma about Tijuana because it is really an awesome place. We got ice cream, like a normal place. There's an airplane. That's my cue. I need to stop recording and tell you goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>